Hi, Stephen Ham from Staccata in Hobart. A few days ago, Paul put up some videos uh, talking about Silver's true times, and I'd like to make a clarification about uh, the third and fourth true times, the time of the hand, body and foot, and the time of the hand, body and feet. And I want to show you some actions that are made in uh, using Silver's guards and only Silver's guards. Paul showed you some stuff using some some of Silver's guards and some of uh, the later broadsword guards. And I'm going to stick specifically to Silver and focus on exactly what Silver meant by these terms. And I'll start with time of the hand, body and foot, the third true time. And what that refers to is when your hand moves first in attack, followed by your body and then one foot. Now Silver's primary attacking position, uh, his offensive, offensive guard is open fight. And so most of those actions will come from there. Now open fight can be held either leg forward or indeed you could hold it with a square stance and neither leg forward. So I'll show you a range of actions that all involve moving the hand, the body and one foot and as such constitute time of the hand, body and foot in Silver's definition. So starting with, with uh, I could be in true garden, I could attack on a step, I could attack on a pass. If I'm in open fight, if I'm sword leg back as I, I typically am, I could attack on a pass, or I could be open fight right leg forward, and I could attack on a step or a pass. I'm now going to do some attacks in time of the hand, body and feet. Now if I start out at a quite a wide distance, I can't reach the, that was a really extravagant over, I'd never attack like that, I nearly overbalanced. Um, so I can't actually reach the target even with a really extravagant pass. But what I can do is I can take two steps as I attack. Okay, and I'll show that, I'll show that again. Right, and I, I can do this to gain more distance, or I can do it uh, if I'm if I'm close enough to hit in time of the hand, body, and foot. I can actually bleed off a lot of a lot of distance, and I can move around my target um, by using a time of the hand, body, and feet. All right, so I can I can move obliquely around. I could also uh, I, I can also use the box step that Paul was talking about where I could move off to the side, okay, and strike with a reverso. Now, particularly with the, with the box step, um, it's really critical to notice that I can use two very different timings on this. Now, I'm going to do both of those timings and see if you can pick up the difference in timing. One will be a third true time and one will be... In fact, the first one will be a third true time, and the second one will be a fourth true time. So see if you can pick the difference. So I'm not sure if you pick the difference, but in the first one, I stepped just as I would maybe be stepping as part of a normal movement around my opponent, and then I attacked in a third true time. In the second one, I started my attack, moved one foot and then the other foot. Okay, so both foot movements were part of the of the cutting action. And that's what distinguishes a fourth through time. That we've got two foot movements as part of the action that brings you in uh, into close distance. So what I've tried to convey in this video is that the difference between third true times and fourth true times. Third true time involves one foot movement. So one foot movement, one foot movement, one foot movement, 
one foot movement, and the fourth through time involves the movement of both feet. So, two foot movements, two foot movements. And that it's possible to have an action that looks very like a fourth through time action that is in fact a third true time action where you're just moving the foot and then you do a, a third true time action, right? Move the foot and then do a, a third true time action. And they look very, they look very, very similar in practice, but tactically they can be, they can be quite different. Right? The attack starts, as Silver says, with the hand and the hand coming forward creating the threat. Okay, thanks for watching.